Hey guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with The Homemade Entrepreneur. So it's because of you guys, because of your guys' comments, because of your guys' thumbs down in one of my latest videos that you actually made me better. You're going to make my business a whole lot better. I feel be I feel a lot better about it. And uh, yeah, again, it's because of you guys. So I just want to thank you guys for that. And uh, stay tuned so I can tell you guys why I feel my business is better. You guys made me better and how I'm changing things. Stay tuned. So, I don't know if you saw it. Uh, I took it down after like, there was like 250 some people that saw it. But I did a video earlier today, uh, or published a video earlier today on you know what to do if you uh, leave a price tag on you know one of the items you send in Amazon the customer sees it and uh, You know that whole thing now my, my throat is actually it's really dry Mainly because I've been on the phone. So I was on the phone for about Probably like 40 minutes. I did a Skype call and that took me about over an hour So for the past probably two hours. I've been talking to a couple um, you know FBA people um, but so if you saw that video, just forget what I said, okay? So for me, I, I just put my put myself out there, put all my you know everything that I do out there. So for me, my Amazon FBA business, no one taught me how to do any of it. Um, it was all trial and error, and so you know the whole reason I'm shooting this video is to kind of explain to you guys. You know, I made a I made a I've been making a big mistake. But I didn't know that. I didn't know it until I actually put it out there. So, the so actually, I, I wouldn't even have seen this probably until like tomorrow. The video would still be up, you know. And uh, so, out of 250 some people that watched it, one person gave it a uh, thumbs up. Um, and I think that maybe they just gave it a thumbs up just just for the sake of giving it a thumbs up. I don't know. Maybe they're new to Amazon FBA. But there was like 30 some people that gave it a thumbs down, and so. I actually have two content managers that look at all my stuff, look at all my um, YouTube accounts, um, look at all my websites, um, comments, all that stuff. And uh, they take care of the, all the comments from the, the websites. They take care of all the comments from my other YouTube channels. So for me, it's just, I do just the homemade entrepreneur, just my main channel. So anyway, I get a phone call from one of my content managers. He's like, dude, did you see, have you seen your, your latest video on your main channel? I said no, uh, you know I'm out of the office. What's going on? And uh, so he says, well, uh, it looks like you know there's a lot of people that are hating the video. He goes, so you, you might want to check it out. I don't know exactly why. So I go and check it out. So I wasn't trying to do anything bad to the the buyers of the products because the products that I was selling, they're like the the stuff that had stickers on it. Um, they were like you know ten dollar products. Or the the profit was probably right around ten dollars, um, maybe even less. And so it wasn't a big deal if I miss if I lost a sale. But I was just you know just trying to get people, get the buyers to be like you know just forget about the sticker that was on it. You know you got the product, you got you know a good deal. Um, you know yeah I got a better deal, but that's kind of how things work anyway. So what I was, I'm so the whole point of this video is I actually learned a lot because. I never had somebody I could go to. I never had a mentor, somebody that you know was teaching me something. Even the even that topic of what do you do if the price tag still on the item? Who 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 even talks about that? You know, on YouTube. If if you guys can point me in a direction that one person that has actually shot a video of that, let me know because I haven't seen it. Somebody on Facebook, let me know. I haven't seen it. But that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm you know kind of you know paving the way. You know, me, there's so many other guys out there. We're talking about new things that are not talked about. You know, yeah, we don't talk about taxes, but that's a liability issue. So that's why we don't do that. But as far as, you know, this whole thing, it's like, I'm still, I'm still learning because no one's taught me how to do something. Okay. I do all my stuff through trial and error. When I first started, that was all I was doing. You know, and so this, this video is more just a rant, I guess, but I actually learned quite a bit today. So so the strategy that I was that I was implementing that was pretty much you know copy paste, and it worked because no buyer there's only one buyer that actually asked asked for a return, uh, but that was because he actually found the item somewhere else 
had another Home Depot for the same price I got it for. But so he returned the item. Everyone else was like, oh, okay, you know, it was no big deal. Um, but it wasn't necessarily the the result that was an issue with a lot of the people that watched the video. It was just maybe how I went about it. I'm not really sure. So one 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 person that watched it um, sent me a message over on well, multiple people sent me a message over on Facebook. But so yeah, if I ever make a mistake or there's ever anything that you think I could be doing better that maybe I'm missing my business, I run so many different businesses. And you know, if you guys haven't been following my channel for a while, you know that that a lot of the employees that I did have, they kind of just moved on. They started their own stuff. And so in a sense, I got I went from having multiple employees that I could just delegate to that I'm doing everything myself. Now, yeah, I still have you know a few employees, but that's not the, that's not the point. The point is, I went from a huge team to a very small team, but my business is still growing. But now I'm starting to outsource more stuff. I'm starting to do different things. So, in a way, I, I guess I just dropped the ball on this one. But I dropped the ball, and I didn't realize it until you guys, until the, you, you guys, whoever watched the video, and you were doing comments, the thumbs down send me a message over on Facebook, I wouldn't have known that I was making a mistake. I wouldn't have known this because in my mind, everything was going good. My business was still growing. Everything was fine. But you guys pointed out that, you know, that, hey, this doesn't seem right. Or, you know, with all the thumbs down, obviously, you know, it, it, I, I don't know. It just didn't seem like, and you guys have been very honest with me. Um, so you know, I thank you guys for that. Thank you for being honest. Uh, but the whole thing is just, I'm still learning. I'm still learning everything. Um, I'm still fairly young. I'm under 30 years old. I'm not even 30. Um, so I'm still learning. The I run multiple businesses, so I don't have time to go to you know, all these conferences to learn from a bunch of other people. And so, you know, actually today, so I'm shooting this video. It is 6, 6 55 um, p.m. on Friday night, July 29th, I believe. Um, I was actually going to go to the ASD conference that starts tomorrow, I believe the 30th. Uh, my flight was supposed to leave tomorrow morning at 9.45. Tomorrow morning, 9.45, I was supposed to leave. And I was going to get into Vegas. I was going to stay in Vegas until the... Th no, I think the ASD conference ends on the 3rd. I was going to stay till the 6th. I was going to stay three, three extra days to do some other stuff, do a little bit of coaching. Spend one day just relaxing in the room by the pool and just hanging out. And then another day just going to see some of the sights. Um, haven't been to Vegas in six months, something like that. Not like it's been too long, but anyway. So, uh, but I had to cancel that last night because I had so much other stuff going on. I got so much stuff to get caught up on. My businesses are just everywhere. So I don't have time to go to all these, you know, these conventions, these conferences, these, you know, meetups. Um, I'd like to. But there's just so much stuff going on. So, uh, again, sorry about the rant, but I've been learning a lot. I've been, I've really been learning a lot from you guys. You guys ask questions. If I don't know the the answer, which is, it's not often. I don't know the exact answer. But if I don't know the answer, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna figure it out. So I'm gonna better myself while I'm teaching you guys something. Uh, but one thing I want you guys to understand. When you guys ask questions, it does it does benefit me um, in a way. So it's not just you know I'm getting something out of it every time you guys ask a question, every time you guys put in a comment, send me a message over on Facebook, any of that. You know I'm I'm learning more um, while you guys learn. Um, but one thing I wanted to make sure you guys understood is that I am still learning. This is a process, and uh, so one thing that so th this the strategy that I was using to. Uh, to sending to the the buyer when there was a label still on the the or price tag still on the product, um, it was something that a friend and my a friend and myself we actually put together when we first started a couple years ago, or two and a half three years ago. So the strategy, you know, I, I called him up and we talked for a while, and he was like, "Oh, so you're still using that?" And I was like, "Well, yeah, but you know, uh, a bunch of people had some issues with you know when I was talking about it, and uh, so." Pretty much what he said was this is what he does and so you know he actually explained to me a little bit more about you know why he wouldn't go the route I was going and why he would do things um, a little bit differently so I'll talk about that later 
um, because I'm still I'm gonna implement his strategy into my business, which I can see will make things a little bit easier. Um, it wouldn't be much of a back and forth thing over messages, um, so that'll be good. Again, sorry about the rant, but I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys saw the video that I posted earlier today, just forget it. Um, I'll talk about different things later after I implement this new strategy into my business. Talk to my friend a little bit more. Um, we our business are pretty much around the same level. Our Amazon FBA business businesses are pretty much around the same level. We sell about the same amount of stuff per month um, or in volume we do. Um, so yeah, but uh, again, just want to say thank you. I did not know I was making this mistake until you guys actually pointed it out. So again, thank you for that. Um, I'm very appreciative of everything you guys do. Um, I know you guys are, and you've said it all the time, you, you thank me, you're very appreciative, appreciative of the videos of just me teaching. Uh, but again, I'm very appreciative of you as well. So thank you. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys soon.